Oogie, do you want to be in it? Does Oogie fit in this? Does he just look like too much? I feel like... I feel like he's too much. Hi guys, so in today's video I have a very exciting, at least it's a, it's personally, it's like really personally exciting. It's not even that I'm just excited to show it to you. And I feel like all my videos I'm excited because I am excited when I film. But this one just hits different. Like it is literally at my core. Like I understand how if One Direction came back, I feel like that's like a little traumatic to say for some people like I feel like that just reopens wounds so I'm so sorry but I feel like if One Direction was to come back how a Directioner would feel in that moment is how I kind of feel right now. Big Time Rush was going on tour and they were only going to two shows. They basically released the merch that was essentially made for this little two show tour online for anybody to buy. Uh, 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 uh. Do y'all remember when you could go to Walmart and there was like 20 billion Justin Bieber t-shirts you could buy like a lot of Justin Bieber t-shirts and your girl had like every single one. I never found Big Time Rush merch like as a child. I think once, once, once I found a blanket and um, I didn't buy it because I was like, I don't want a blanket, like I want a shirt, you know, like I don't need a blanket. 22 year old me wishes that I bought that blanket because I would totally still be using it to this day without a doubt But big time rush was My boy band like I loved big time rush and I never had cable television. I didn't have anything So my dad would rent the DVDs from the library when he saw there was a new Disney or a new Nickelodeon thing And then he'd usually just like give me the first volume I'd watch it and then I'd never watch any of the other ones but I had to have the next Big Time Rush. I had to have Big Time Rush. I never had, like, merch. I just had the CDs and the DVDs. I really just wanted to buy it all, but also it was kind of throwing me off because it does have, like, the shows on it. I believe it has, like, the shows that they're doing. And since I'm not going to them, I kind of feel weird having the merch. Let's just rip into it. I didn't, I didn't grab scissors or anything because I was like, mm, I don't really need scissors for this, do I? I also love crewnecks. Like when merch, like when they make crewnecks as a part of merch, I love it. I mean, I like a good hoodie, but a crewneck I feel like is just a little more casual. Well, I feel like a hoodie's super casual. A crewneck is a little more like a sweater, which is like perfect fall, perfect fall attire. Oh my god, I see. No way. This is real. Oh my god, I'm just shredding, shredding this package open. Oh, did I buy a hoodie? Oh, I bought a hoodie. I didn't know I bought a hoodie. That's probably why this is $100. That's probably honestly why this is $100. So I bought the beanie, first of all, because, I don't know, recently I've been like kind of into beanies. It's just a little tricky because I can't wear them when I first get my hair done because my hair will literally transfer to like anything. Okay, so it's just a simple, basic red beanie. Pretty much the same beanie, like, that's standard for all the merch shops. It does say BTR, and it is embroidered on the front, which is great. And then on the back, it says Live 2021. I didn't know that it said that when I bought it. I thought it just said BTR, which I thought was great. The fact that it says the Live 2021, it's, like, cool. But it also, again, kind of throws me off because, like, I'm not going right, to You see just have to say that you're fine months. when you're not really fine. Mm, kind of awkward. Oh, she did it. Oh, she did it. Oh, she did it. This is like a snug. This is a snug beanie, by the way. This is a snug beanie. I feel like I'm bringing out the, like, Kendall beanie era. Do you guys know what I'm talking about? Is that still a thing? Was that real? Did I just make that up? I feel like that was a real thing. I will wear it. Because I feel like the red and green is also such like a holiday vibe. Like I have to wear red greeny with my hair. Oh, shut up. 
This is so cool. I also feel like this is going to totally just like pop off in the wash. I'm like so scared to, yeah, it's like literally cracking. Ah, this is not cheap. I'm so sad. Like it looks cool. It's just definitely not gonna hold up. Like this is something that you probably have to wash inside out, let alone I feel like it's just gonna crumble. Like they even did it on this side. Why? Why was this necessary on this side even? Live, or no, it just says Big Time Rush 2021, which I am completely okay with that. It doesn't say live, beautiful. Um, on the sleeve, it says Big Time Rush Live 2021, and then it has the actual dates on the sleeve there and it's made out of like this puffed up like paint I don't know how to describe it it's just like puffed up definitely a texture thing if I pull it look at it it cracks did you guys see that ah uh, oh I hate it but it, it's like inevitable like when you're wearing this and moving your arms around and then when you wash it like it's literally all of them are gonna be cracked so I don't know why at least this arm wasn't printed like the front because this stuff does crack too but it takes a while to crack this stuff though and then on this side it's super cool because it's their faces but it's also just not gonna last. So like you have Logan up here and it says Logan. You have Carlos. You have Kendall, my man. And you have James. I saw that backwards and I literally thought that it said Liam and I was like, there's no Liam. That sucks. I wonder like as it like chips off though if the fabric underneath is gonna like have the dye left over from this puffiness. The crew neck. Which looks perfect and it's red. Ah, uh, So excited. <gasps> yes! 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 Yes queen! Yes, this is nice. This is, this is nice. This is nice. It says Big Time Rush in like the big font, but then it also says it in cursive on top. Love that. And then on the sleeve, they did that puffy thing again. Oh, I thought this was printed, but no, it's that puffy stuff again. I don't know if it's like more expensive to do this puffy stuff or if it's cheaper to do this puffy stuff. But I'm not, I'm not a fan of it because I know it's going to crack away. Um, I'm not too, like, upset about it though because, like, I think this would look cool, like, cracked up and stuff. So it's, like, whatever. And the big, basic front print is done super well. And it does, again, have the dates on it. Kind of, like, okay. I think it looks really cool with the actual style of the crew neck, though. So I'm really pleased with the crew neck. These don't actually have a brand either. Most of the merch that I order is, like, done through, like, Independent or, um, there's another one. These do not, they don't have a brand. There's a website, but there's no, like, actual brand tag to them. But they are nice quality, like, clothing wise like the hoodie has nice stitching on it i think it's very thick i think it's warm has the nice cuffing on the bottom super stretch the like collar on this looks super nice like this is like a really nice i like the like fine i don't know it's just really nice um the only disappointing thing is this puffy stuff i wish it was either embroidered which i know would be more, way more expensive or just print it on but it's still cool i think it's a really nice design i think they they did a really good job designing the merch. I waited so long, but not even. Like, I waited longer for merch, but the fact that this is like big time Rush merch, I'm just like... Thank you. That's the merch that I bought. Let me know in the comments down below what you guys think about this like mini comeback. Like, do you think they're gonna release a new album? Do you think they're gonna do like, an, like a full length tour? 
what do you think is going to come of this like in 2022 like do you think this was just like a little like test run and oh it didn't do as well as they hoped it would like it didn't break the internet so they like aren't gonna do it like let me know your thoughts on it especially if you grew up like with big time rush which i assume if you're watching this you did um just let me know what you guys think about it because i'm really curious but i love you guys i'll see you again very very soon peace out girl scouts